Do you remember, not all that long ago, when a portable transistor radio was simply that? It was a radio that you switched on to catch the news, listen to your latest shows, get a little bit of music. It wasn't one of these all singing, all dancing, fancy pantsy radios with the obligatory built-in MP3 player, loads and loads of buttons, auto search, auto tune, oh, auto everything. And you know what? I thought those days were long, long gone. And then Retikess got in touch and said, Fred, how would you like to review a basic, simple transistor radio? And I said, yeah, let's get it on the channel. And here it is, this is it, the Retikess TR626. In this video, we're going to do a full in-depth review of this Retikess radio. In a moment, we'll have a closer look at all the controls. It's very, very simple, it's very basic. Then we'll do some audio check tests on its four bands because this is a full four band radio, FM, medium wave, long wave, and short wave. And then finally, at the end, I will give you my absolute honest opinion. It is a freebie, it has been sent in for review, but I'm not on any commission, no sales, kickback, anything like that, so I'll be completely honest at the end. But first, let's get into this. Let's have a closer look at the controls on the radio. Looking directly at the front of the radio, I think it's really refreshing these days to see such a nice, simple, laid out design. The manual tuning scale, very clear, very easy to read. Interesting to note, it's got the Far Eastern frequency range on the FM starting all the way down at 76. Now this does have shortwave, this radio, but only on the broadcast band, 8 to 18 megahertz. We have a nice large 3.5 inch one-way speaker and this is rated at 2 watts. As for the remaining controls on the front of the radio, well there's not that much to really look at here. A simple, easy to use, nice large chunky band selector on the right and then on the left a switch that turns from radio mode to Bluetooth speaker. On the right hand side of the radio we have a fairly large tuning wheel and in below that a 3.5mm stereo headphone jack. On the left side we have a socket for the AC mains lead that becomes supplied in the box and is just over 1m in length. The rear of the radio, just the battery compartment here and the radio takes 4 D size cells. And finally, worth a mention, although this radio is very easy to use, it does come with printed instructions. Let's move on to the audio part now. One thing I've noticed is simple on-off volume control. That, that feels nice and smooth. Yeah, that feels quite nice simple quality. Simple mono speaker, 2 watts maximum output. I'm not expecting any ground thumping bass. It's not a ghetto blaster, is it? But I'm hoping to get a good, clear audio out of this. In the past, Rekites radios that I've reviewed, they've all had good audio. Obviously, I won't be able to play you any music due to copyright. But let's start on the uh, FM band. It's a bit odd, as I say, because it starts on 76 uh, megahertz, which is a little bit strange for the UK. But we're going to start on a broadcast band and uh, let's see what FM The Northampton and Toaster turns, queues both ways and also slow on the diversion into Northampton. Into London, A501 Euston Road is closed eastbound. They're dealing with the burst water main around the Euston underpass at Great Portland Street. So the queue is back along the Marylebone Road. And then it's scared to the, the, the sheer extent of that, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing, uh, is something that we haven't even, um, you know, we haven't even tapped up yet. You know, be, be people trying to build. I don't know. From a pigeon to best tackle those DIY projects, download the Mano app, which offers free delivery. DIY Home and Garden. Mano Man. Yes, I live in Totolo, the Wavenden, which I thought I'd never ever leave, but yeah. after I got divorced, um, that, and I drove through it this morning and I thought, no, I'm so glad that I moved away with all the development that's gone on in Milton Keynes. You know, it's still good, Milton Keynes, but... Uh, in this country, there's quite a lot of things like that, which I completely get, but I mean, surely it can be... We, we, should, we should be OK. Uh, Katie, what help is there at the moment for well, businesses? The, for, for, for businesses, not a huge amount, unfortunately. For, for households, the government has announced a, a number of uh, a number of initiatives. Things like people will be. Australia, make a madam hai. Unka hundredth birthday manai zara tha, aur unki jo fish thi, wo ye. 
I'm not saying it's right, but I do agree with what Simon just said then. Maybe it is, um, you know, at the, at the will of the club to actually, I mean, if, if you're on the verge of winning the league, if you're on the verge of being relegated. Chase, it was only a single, didn't go as far away. The soft edge. And Elgar keeps the bowling, end of the over. Seven gone. South Africa are 13 to 1. Elgar four. Peterson is there on five. Avia the man out. Caught by folks of Anderson for three. If you missed the team news, well, England name. feature I'm going to test is the Bluetooth mode. This will work as a Bluetooth speaker. The idea being you pair it up to your mobile phone, play your music through the radio. Myself, I tend to listen to a lot of audiobooks on Bluetooth uh, earbuds, so we'll see how this works. So very easy how to do this. You go to your Bluetooth settings on your phone and straight away, oh, there you go, it's already connected. It's, it's that quick, connected straight away. So let's see how it sounds on a little bit of audio from my phone to the Bluetooth. Mustard with pork dripping. A mug of beer was not far from his other hand. Jackram looked up as she approached and nodded companionably toward another chair. Around them, women ran to and fro. Pork dripping with salt and pepper and a mug of beer, he said. That's the ticket. You can keep your... No. Want a slice? He waved a hand at one of the kitchen girls who was dancing attendance on it. And I think that's about it. It's refreshingly simple to review. There's not that really that much to show you. And I think that's why Reticus are aiming this on the website. They're aiming it, aiming it at the elderly with the nice, big, easy-to-use chunky controls, the big tuning dial. But I think it's for anyone that just wants a bloody basic radio. We don't want lots of fiddly buttons. We don't want so lots of displays, MP3 players. The Bluetooth function is quite good. Now, weight-wise, if you were going to carry this around without batteries, it's pretty light. I think it comes in at about 700 grams. Overall, it's a very nice radio to use. The controls, they feel nice. It feels more premium. You could get away with a Sony badge, something like that on it. You wouldn't really, wouldn't really know. Sound quality, perfectly acceptable. It hasn't got a lot of bass, but it's very, very clear, very, very loud on all, even all of the bands. Even shortwave, once it was tuned in, sounded absolutely superb. Again, the little switch controls, they feel quite nice. They feel like they're going to last. I don't. I feel like nothing's um, going to break. Criticisms. Just a couple of minor ones at this price point. And we'll just talk about price. This this comes in at just over £30 on the Reticus Amazon site. So it's not the cheapest radio, perhaps, and it's not the most expensive. I think at that cost, yeah, I would have liked to have seen a tone control, maybe just here. Um, yeah, on FM, I think that might have lifted the sound a little bit. It sounded OK, but a tone control and then a tuning LED would have been nice as well. I think certainly think on shortwave when you're flicking through to see that light up that would have made the tuning easier but i'm being for a very minor picky picky bits i mean to be honest it's a good sounding radio it's easy to use and i think that's really where the elderly thing comes in if i was to give this to my elderly mother she's, she's got plenty of radios but she would have no trouble tuning this with her arthritis her eyesight's actually better than mine so she'd have no trouble at all and these switches yeah they're nice and big nice and chunky so i think that's about it as i mentioned um I, i've got i get no kickback from this from reticus they sent it in it was a freebie i'm happy to review it but i've tried to make this as honest as i can i'll leave a link to the reticus amazon shop in the uk down below if you've enjoyed the video and it's helpful to you there's the thumbs up from fred please give that back to me. I would appreciate it. We're, I'm such a small channel. I get so little views. Everyone counts. I do appreciate your view time. So as always, I'd just like to say thanks for tuning in. Look after yourselves. Stay safe. And of course, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.